Hey everyone, uh, Gambit7075 here, I'm back, um, been gone for a little while, actually a long time, uh, you know, life, uh, kinda got in the way, and, uh, um, you know, just a lot of stuff, uh, had, had to work a lot, and, uh, had really no time to even get to the comic shop or any comics coming in or anything like that. I had to focus on a lot of uh, of uh, work and school and stuff. So, uh, but I was able to catch up on all my books that I've had. So that's kind of good. Uh, I went through all my books and I read them all. And um, in the meantime, even though I haven't picked up any books, and then. Uh, yeah, now everything's kind of slowing down, everything's kind of getting in order, so things should go back to normal. Um, quick, uh, hey to everyone in the community. Um, I've been watching, I've been trying to catch up on some videos too as well. And, um, I just, uh, I'm happy to be, you know, seeing everybody still doing it, everybody's still going, and, uh, and just, uh, everyone's still being you know, going strong on everything, so, anyway, um, that's that, I just wanted to say I'm back, I'm happy to be back, um, I got a haul here, I'm gonna show in a minute, um, and I've got a few more coming, uh, one in the mail, and, uh, I'm gonna go tomorrow or the next day to the shop here, and see if I can pick up some, uh, new comics, um, but anyway, um, I realize I'm close to 100 subscribers, and, um, I wanted to do a contest, uh, once I get there, so if, uh, if I reach 100 subs, I'll do a contest, uh, I'll probably have three winners, and, um, I'll have three different packages or, or comics, um, that you can win, and, uh, I'll, I'll find some kind of, uh, contest or, you know, uh, some way to win it. You know, I'll figure out a nice little, uh, maybe like a covers contest. I saw somebody did that, and I saw, um, I just don't want to do the whole, like, you know, shuffle names, pick one name out. Uh, I want, like, a video response one would be cool, I think. Um, but anyway, um, what else? Uh, oh, um, I still have, if anybody wants to trade comics, I still have comics, uh, for trade. I have uh, some Superman, I have some, uh, I have a lot of Superman actually, and I also have uh, a lot of just random miscellaneous ones, I can't remember them all, but it, they're in some videos back in in, in my library or whatever, um, if you kind of go to it, you'll, you'll see there's, uh, they're highlighted and stuff, and I think I, um, you know, noted which ones were already traded or which one I had have already given away. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get back into this, guys. I'm happy to be back. Um, <clears throat> so, I've been, I am happy to finally have <laughs> just collected these three issues. It took me forever to find them. Um, I just wanted to read this story. I only got, I got the first three. And now, uh, I finally got the, the other three to finish the storyline. Um, this is X-Men Volume 3, um, uh, and this is Issue 4. So I got Wolverine, Vampire Wolverine, uh, this is the Curse of the Mutant storyline. And, um, it's such a cool storyline, and when I first got them, I got them just on a whim. You know, I, I saw it, and it was like a dollar, and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll read it. And then I just, I was able to only find the first three issues and then <clears throat> uh, just till now I was only able to find uh, it's funny I took a break and then I came back and I found uh, I found these so these are these are awesome to get um, this is issue five it's a cool cover where they're about to go to war uh, Wolverine leading the vampires and here's issue six to finish it off, which is uh, Dracula versus Cyclops. This sounds like a cheesy storyline, but actually, it's actually pretty cool, and um, I kind of like the new uh, 
X-Men Volume 3. I know that we're far away from that, but I do like just the kind the art and um, the art and the storyline I liked a lot. It was just a good book. And this guy kind of looks like, you know, Dracula kind of looks like Magneto in a weird way. Um, but anyway. And then I was also, I also was able to find the next couple books. So here's X-Men issue 7 with Spider-Man, the Storm, Emma Frost, and, uh, this seems like it could be a cool, um, uh, a c cool story, um, not too sure, I got, I got one more issue from it, and it was issue, uh, eight, it was a pretty cool cover, you got all, like, the eyes peeking out, um, but yeah, the storyline's pretty cool. They go into the sewers, and they go to New York, because um, Cyclops started this uh, tracking thing that actually tracks like all kind of uh, activity. It's almost like cerebral for crime activity. And they find um, one of the big things that tips them off is there's some kind of reptile in the sewers, and it turns out to be, uh, you know... The crocodile from Spider-Man. I'm forgetting his name right now. Uh, Laz is it Lazarus? Uh, no, it's not Lazarus. I don't know. Um, oh man, it's killing me now. I'm so uh, I'm still a little out of it. Um, but yeah, it's a good storyline. Um, so I think I'm gonna start trying to find the next couple issues, which are probably gonna be another adventure. But oh well. So I'll get those out of the way. Um, so sticking to the X-Men theme, um, I'm also collecting the classic X-Men and X-Men classic run, um, and I'm getting closer and closer to finishing it. Um, I think I'm only missing maybe 20 to 30 issues, um, but they're <laughs> they're very hard to find and very like I can never find them. Uh, but this is classic X-Men issue 2. It's such a... It's a cool... I just love the art. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's not... It's very, like, cartoony. And it's not like... I don't feel like it's an actual... Um, they're taking it, like, too too real. <laughs> when, they, when they did the drawings. Like, even on this one, you'll see uh, issue 15... I mean, you can see uh, Nightcrawler's expression and uh, Wolverine. I mean, everything just looks so caricatured. It's, like, ridiculous. But, I don't know. I like it. Um, and then I also was able to get uh, issue 38, which is an awesome cover. Uh, the Dark Phoenix, part of the Dark Phoenix saga. And, you know, Cyclops. It just, uh, it's just such a cool, such a cool cover. So, we're sticking to X-Men theme here. Um, I'm missing, from this run, I'm almost done as well. It's only about ten issues, and I think I'm missing issue, like, seven and six, I think. And I think that's it. Um, it's Nightcrawler, this is volume three, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, well, I mean, one of my favorite, I have two favorite characters in X-Men, and it's Nightcrawler and Gambit, um, so whenever I see something with them, I instantly get it, like, they have always been my two favorite characters, like, since growing up watching the TV show, so, I'm happy to finally find those, even though I'm still missing just two more, and, uh, here's issue four, actually. Which is pretty cool. I feel like he just teleported because of the smoke in the back. Uh, okay, so pretty sure that's it for X Men or Marvel. And most of these is just going to be kind of like trying to catch up to the 52 that I've been behind. They are the new 52. But, um, well, these aren't actually, these are actually uh, part of older uh, Detective Comics, but. Um, this is 
uh, Detective Comics, uh, Batman, Batwoman. This is issue 854. And, um, I love Batwoman. Batwoman is, like, my favorite, char favorite character, uh, other than Batman for DC. Um, I remember Ghost Critic was the one who got me into Batwoman, uh, because he did a review on it, and I was like, oh, that sounds awesome. And I read it, and I just couldn't stop reading it. Um, J.H. Williams is, is the man. Um, yeah, I mean, I love that every story. So this is cool when I found out that, um, I'm trying to remember who told me they had the shit or run in Detective Comics. Go, oh man, go, I'm trying to remember his name now. It's been so long. <laughs> I want to say the name, but it's Go Pee Pants, Go Pee Pants, Go, I think that's his name on here. Uh, that's pretty funny to say it out loud, but. Um, I think that's his name, and he told me about this, and, uh, so now I've been trying to collect them whenever I can find them, and, uh, so I got 854 and 855, and the covers, the art is just awesome. I mean, they're always so, like, like, just, just pieces of art, man. I love, I love the, it's so good, so good. Um, alright, so anyway, uh, catching up to the new 52, not all the way, but, like halfway ca caught up. Uh, here's Batwoman 11. Like I said, I'm pretty far back, guys, so don't uh, hate on me for doing this. <laughs> um, Batwoman 12. That's such a cool. So awesome. It's coming out like Medusa's mouth. Here's issue thirteen. I can't wait to read these two. I haven't I haven't caught up and read these, so um should be cool. And I got issue fourteen. And I hope to uh hope to read these over this weekend. Um and be fully caught up on everything and then when I get my next haul in, it will be hopefully caught up to where we are now in the new 52. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get there slowly. I picked up a Penguin, uh, Pain, uh, Pain and Prejudice, um, three of, this is 3 of 5, and um, this storyline is awesome, uh, but yet again, I can't, uh, since, I was, since I left during at this this was coming out uh it's so much harder to find these books now because they're all gone um especially at my store i only have one store here and it's not like the greatest selection ever so to find comics is not is not fun uh but when you do it's like oh yes thing you know it's a it's great it's a good hunt but it's it's not sometimes it's not worth it it kills you um and here's my final comics here to catch up uh, is Batman issue 12 such a cool such a cool cover and then I'm so excited for this um, death of the family uh, I haven't read it <laughs> not caught up I know everybody's already passed this and stuff but I'm so excited to read it I'm trying not to spoil myself or like, read any spoilers or watch any reviews and it was so hard to go through everyone's videos and like every time somebody would say something I'd be like oh, uh, skip um but yeah this is such a cool cover I mean I can't wait to see what uh, Scott Snyder did with the Joker and issue 14 and again another just awesome awesome cover and I'm sure the story was just amazing because Scott Snyder uh, just will not stop I've loved this whole Batman room. Um, but yeah, guys, that's that's going to do it for the haul. Uh, like I said, it's it's quick quick and dirty, but um, I'm trying to catch up to everybody. Uh, hopefully, um, on my next haul, I'll be caught up completely, and then uh, I can focus on <laughs> filling uh, some holes that are in the uh, collection. Uh, but, yeah, um... 
glad to be back and uh hope everyone's doing good and can't wait to see everyone uh, everyone else's videos and uh yeah this is just the beginning reboot again so i'll see you guys soon peace